True news and reviews. Y'all know we back, man. You know how we do. We got Drake yes. on deck, man. Yeah, we got to talk about it, man. I wanted to ask you, Bob. Yeah, You've been watching yeah. what's going on. Do you think that the criticism that Drake has been having to endure lately is warranted? Are they giving him a hard time? Or I mean, did you did nah. you even listen to the album? Or I listened to a couple songs. I ain't listened to the whole album, but uh I think it's warranted because I think when you get under scrutiny, you either have to, you know, flight or you gotta get out of sight. And I think you know what I'm saying it's gonna bring pressure on Drake though. You know, you gotta perform some hits, man. We need them hits, man. What you mean, God? Bobby, is it possible that you and the rest of the world are just some hating ass niggas? <laughs> Y'all, I, I, is that possible? Because look, you yeah. talk about the nigga make need hits. He's one away from tying Michael Jackson. <laughs> right? Hell is he you talking about? You know, he's he, great. That's what he's yeah. continuing to do. Okay. Now, yeah. yeah. Now listen. Let me say this. When I first heard the Drake album, I even wrote some notes. Right, and I, I, I wanted to talk about it when it first dropped. And I was talking about one of the tracks at the beginning sounded kind of gospel. I didn't really start nodding my head until 21 Savage showed up on the album. <laughs> I thought a lot of the songs were kind of boring, but yo, but then I but but then I listened to it again. I said, this shit is fire. <laughs> like this is a bomb ass album, cuz yeah, you know, that's yeah. a kind of a dating term, but I said the, the album is wavy. I liked it cuz. He had a lot of slappers on there that grow. They grew on me over time, Paul. Oh, I don't think, I don't think Drake can make a bad song. To me personally, I don't think. I think yeah. he's talented enough that you know it's just more about what he's saying and who he's saying it about is what gets the fans kind of in a, you know feel a certain type of way you know but other than that i think he's a he's a, one of the top artists ever man but we gotta what do, you, what do you think when you heard the criticisms that joe was making saying that he needs to hang with more people his age he's having sex with women that are too young the songs sound uninspired how do you feel about that i'm sure you caught a glimpse of a lot yeah, of yeah i like it because you know constructive criticism sometimes is what people need and maybe it, it ain't come but but that go ahead i hear what you're saying because i don't have a problem with constructive criticism but those to me sound like ad ad hominems it's not so much about his uh artistic prowess or you know anything like that you're talking about you don't think that he's doing things that are age appropriate you're talking about his cho choice of women you commented on who he chooses to be friends with if he wants to have Lil yachty on his album if he wants to create with Lil yachty i don't feel like that's kind of like fair game then it starts to feel like down are you trying to throw salt in the game is you mad that the man is making hits you know like i mean that's joe I, I button know though just, we it, know okay. yeah but look that's joe button though but the thing about it is drake gets to respond you get to make songs it's like drake you need people like this you need to love your haters okay you need to when haters come out with stuff you need to be it's a blessing you know i agree with that I in my perspective that. you feel me i feel like I it's good we need this kind of you know i like to see this kind of when guys get you know when somebody say something about them and these rappers gotta you know they gotta talk about it they gotta well, you know well, well this is what i think people should be careful of i always like an opportunity to inject a little bit of epistemology and i'll say this when yeah. it comes to arguments you really want to stay away from ad hominems uh you know that's when the argument is directed against a person rather than the position they're maintaining seems like he was coming at drake personally rather than keeping it journalistic right, matter of fact there's somebody else who thought that uh the, the the attacks against drake were a little bit unfair charlemagne says something i really didn't even take the time to listen to it you know i'm working and going to school right now but we can listen to it right now and react in real time you seeing okay. that um, yep yep Okay, so let me go ahead and play a little clip of uh, what Charlamagne said on the uh, Breakfast Club. You know, because I mean, this is the same Drake music that he's. Yeah, I mean, listen, I do think the criticism is slightly unfair though, because I mean, this is the same Drake music that he's been putting out for at least the last 
five, yeah. six, six years. Yeah, the problem is, like, what's it, the difference between this album and the album with Twenty One that he dropped last November? Uh, opinions are like, lovable, but opinions are like a holes, right? Everybody has them, but when it comes to it, it's like right. people look at Drake differently. Like if Jay Z drops a new album, the younger community, my daughter might not like, she might not f with it. You know what I mean? She's twenty, twenty one, about to be twenty two. But Drake, they love. So it's coming from two different opinions of how they feel about music. By the way, he's not going through anything that no artist of his stature has not gone through. Not right. even not even an artist of his stature. Anybody who's been in the position that he's been in, consistently winning for so long, there's always a point in time they love where you, people they hate you. get tired yeah. of seeing you win. And so, then they love you so again. So take Absolutely. any opportunity. Because this album is as bad as y'all making it out. Who's, now, who's saying it? Who's saying that this album is so bad? The, the internet. <laughs> not everybody, but... <laughs> Shit fire, cuz this man is about to be on the billboard top 100 again, dog. Let me see. Hold on, let me see what they put on there. They say, they say Drake but projected you... the debut at number one on billboard 200. Of course, and 100. as he should, because he got to listen, he has a track record. But my point is to you, is this the hottest Drake that you done heard? No, nah, it's be not real. My... Okay, Me personally, so, my favorite Drake album is Scorpion. You know, everybody right. So check it out. Okay, so go check ahead. it out. Can you admit or can you say that with Drake's music is kind of coming on? Is he at his peak or is he coming down off that peak? Like we know where LeBron at in his career, right? It's hard. LeBron's to say. great, right? But he's coming this. down, right? But it's, no, okay. You get what I'm saying? LeBron is 38. I, he's coming down. He's still great. I don't he's know. Still, like Drake, Drake had. Listen, human beings are terrible at predicting the future. I don't like uh, people who claim to read minds, claim to be prophets. I don't know how far Drake is going to soar, but I'm saying that he's already surpassed my expectations of him. I didn't become a, a, a strong Drake supporter until around maybe if, if you're reading this, it's too late. Then I was really convinced around Scorpion. That's when I was like, yo, this guy is like great, great. Like he he might be that boy for real. You know, so yeah. everybody gonna have different things. There's people who talk about everybody views like it's the things. greatest thing right. ever. And when views was out, people was criticizing it. So maybe if we live with this out for a little bit, we'll like it we more can. over time. He got one of the, yeah. the hottest songs of the year with J. Cole. I think it's mm -hmm. called First Person Shooter Mode or yeah. First Person Shooter. Yeah. Fire. Ah. Fire, he, fire. He's on the album drinking uh dissing Pusha T. He dissing the a jazz musician that got the Grammy over him. Mm -hmm. Uh he's sending shots at Rihanna. I mean, it's a spicy ass album, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is the type yeah. of stuff I like. He talk about being gangster, you know, talking about he wasn't gangster till recently. He talked about people thought that he bought a body with the whole XXX thing. Remember, they tried to get him to testify on mm -hmm. what happened with XXX and stuff. So he's touching on a lot of stuff in. I like that. This might be honestly. This might be if we're talking about hip hop. This one of the top five albums of the year. I don't know if it's wow. Better than you ain't even gonna... album. Damn. I, I like. I like. I like. Uh, I mean, Killer Mike album was good, but I just don't listen to it that much. Like, I like this album, Gunner album. Um, uh, who cares? This is one of the this is one of the top five hottest right. albums of the year. But to I'll me, that, that you didn't say it's the greatest album of the year. No, nah, no. Nah. What what are you what what yeah? What are you getting at with that? So, so what if it's not the hottest album? Yeah. So what? Damn. Drake is coming. You know, Drake's still great. This is what this this is my belief on Drake. You know, and just my opinion. Drake's been great for so long, and I think that now is time that he's coming. He's like LeBron right now. He's coming down off of his highs. You know what I mean? Not to say he can't, you know, do something Drake, spectacular. Yeah, bro, but it hasn't Bron been averaging 30 since he came into the league and now he's <laughs> yeah. about to be on he's year still, 21, still he's averaging still 30. 30. Yeah. So, yeah, so he is like he is like Bron. Let's yeah. stay there. He's like Bron, still dominating at an age where you would think he's supposed to be long gone in a game where your career is really short. Sure. So right. if we're right. saying, if you're making that comparison, I'm going to agree with you. I think we could yeah. definitely agree on that. There was some other criticism that had had me thinking a little bit. It allows us to maybe get on that like political stuff we get on sometime. I'll okay. read it here. I don't know. I don't think the audience could really want to. I don't know if I could make it too much bigger, but I'll. Oh, hey. Rob the water god. <laughs> oh lord. What what that look? Dang, I just had 
You just had to. Sh- you know what? I read it. You want me to read it? Yeah, go ahead and uh, read it because I just had it up and it disappeared on me. Right, right. That's all good. I got it right here, man. So check. All right, now go ahead and read it, man. You got to read it with some. Umph. Okay, so look, yeah, I'm gonna read it with the ump. So, has anyone noticed that the most famous Jewish person on earth, Drake, and the most famous Palestinian person on earth, DJ Khaled, haven't said a single thing about the Gaza? israel conflict it's not like drake is too busy he's been writing paragraphs about joe button hurting his feelings about his new album dj Khaled has been working overtime promoting his new jordan sneakers but both of them have been silent on this topic what is that why is that is it because both are thirsty to maintain their relevance that they wouldn't dare risk insulting a segment of their fan base Heaven forbid that Drake might be debuted at number two behind Taylor Swift because some of his Palestinian fans choose to not stream his album. And it would be the end of the world if Khaled sold a few less sneakers because some Jewish people decided not to buy his Jordans. That's the difference between artists today and timeless legends like Tupac. You know damn well Pop would have been the first one to speak about something so close to home. Um, I like where Khaled is coming from, but Khaled or Vlad, you mean Vlad? I mean Va- Vlad. Vlad. My bad. <laughs> okay. Uh, I just, I just think that that was a little bit. It's a little hate, right? In the right yeah. place, but it just, it just sounds a little crazy to me, to be honest with you. I didn't really like Please what he said. It. I mean, I think that he should say more. I got the 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 tweet up there, but the print is small. We ain't no uh, yeah. dang media wizards over here but i will say this when has drake ever talked about political stuff and then what exactly do you want them to say why would Khaled say something that would offend jewish people why are you assuming that Khaled would take the side of uh you know offending jewish people like i don't get that like what is he what is what is what position does he think he would have you know right, right, and right. Th- this mm-hmm. is my whole thing. Anybody that speaks on the conflict that's happening, like Drake. Drake, first of all, I don't, I don't know if Drake's ever been to Israel. You know, I don't know if he has any connection to there. I don't know if he's reading up on that. So you can't always expect people to have an opinion on political issues or geopolitics if they really just don't know or just don't follow stuff like that. That's one. Um why don't you say something about it? I mean, instead of you talking about Khaled and Drake talking about it, Vlad, you're a yep. Jewish person and you have <laughs> just as big of a following as Drake. I, I'd venture as far as to say, right? I mean, Vlad TV is like the biggest hip hop media outlet out there right now. So yeah, you got I a big voice too. Straight. Yeah, I wonder that he got. The I don't know. I, I'm, I'm saying that and. Uh, just to speak on the Hamas tax, Hamas t- attacks on Israel, nobody should be in support of that. It's a it's a terroristic act. Um, women were raped, soldiers were beheaded, uh, innocent concert goers were bombed. Uh, Hamas stands for death to Jewish people. That's what they stand for. Uh, they believe right. that uh, killing Jewish people would bring about Judgment Day. So that's pretty scary stuff. I'm not standing by nobody doing that. Uh, the, so you standing get, with so you standing with Israel on this point. I'm That's standing with the people of Israel. These are innocent bystanders. We're talking about civilians. We're not talking about soldiers. There, there was even news that came out. If you read from I-24, CNN, or CBS, there were right. 40 babies murdered. There were babies beheaded. So who is going to be in support of what the Hamas is doing? I don't think that Drake is worried about offending fans. He probably doesn't know about it. And I'd venture as far as to say if Drake knew what I know, he would probably be like condemning that. And for all of those people who think that, (laughs) you know, this is just a made up thing, it's fake. There's actually videos of this. You can look them up. We're not going to play them here. We're not trying to get this video (laughs) taken down. But there's videos and there's actually American hostages being held by the Hamas. 14 Americans were killed. These are facts. Okay. Okay. So, well, you know, everybody should be against that. If you're a, a rational, rational, definitely. reasonable person, everybody should be against it. But 
let's not put the blame on Drake. Let's talk bad about terrorists. You know, let, let's keep it there. Right. You know? I don't I think see Drake where you deserves come, that. Yeah, yeah, I see where you're coming from, but I actually like what DJ Khaled did. This is why. I mean, not DJ Khaled, but Vlad. This is why. Okay. I think rap should get to more. Po I think these guys should speak more about politics, in my I opinion. I agree with that. I agree and I feel that. that if I have to, if, if this is what we got to do to challenge them, if we got to tell them to, I mean, to get them to get more political, I think that's something that we need to do. That's the poke in the bear that we need to do instead of talking about what 25 year olds we do, how Joe Button said it. I like more hitting these, you know, celebrities and asking them, hey, how do you feel about this? You know, because it's easy for somebody to stay quiet and just get their money because they don't want to, you know, but some of these guys may, like you saying, with the, you know, that, 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 Palestinian Jewish, it runs deep. So, you know, a lot of people try to stay out of bounds and they don't want to speak about it because they don't want to, they don't want to offend like, you anybody. Mean, you remember like <laughs> like how Jordan didn't want to offend nobody? Because <laughs> he yeah. thought, you know, all kind of people is buying his shoes. And it yeah. Could be, it, it could be a situation. It could be a situation like that, but I don't, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But Drake to me doesn't seem like somebody that's politically inclined like no that. I really celebrity i get no 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 i ain't I gonna say you. no celebrity now but i don't drake just i don't see him as somebody that has ever had an appetite for speaking on political news and stuff like that i just I don't say see no that. celebrity but majority of celebrities that's not what they do that's not what they're in the limelight for so i think it would cross some lines and you know certain rooms or everything for them getting political it's kind of like shut up and play basketball kind of like how that dude said with lebron james it's like you know just dribble you know what that i mean was a lady like, that said that, but a lady I that, said that. so well that's I, I think i think rappers should talk more about political stuff but you you should be the change that you want to see what if somebody had that criticism for us why don't we talk about more political stuff why do we cover so much <laughs> negative negro news you we know? do. We kind of sprinkle it in there because we're trying we to attract. We sprinkle it in there, but Listen, we don't talk about we're it. We're trying to much. attract. We're trying to meet them where they're at. And we can't, you know, we can't. There, If we just come out with political, they're not going to, we're not going to be able to grasp and get them in oh, there. Okay, so, okay. So, so, so afford Drake the same grace that you give her yourself. Maybe he doesn't want to, maybe he's trying to meet people where they're at. Would we'll say something. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, we'll say something. They'll put it in there. That's all I'm if saying. He I'm knows not something, you know what I'm saying? I think we should he talk knows about something, science man. and shit like that, too. It's a lot of science shit that I feel like we should talk about. You you yeah. might not be up on that. You just not reading about that. You got right. a whole career. You got kids that you worried about. You you can't expect yeah. somebody to talk about some shit that they just don't know about. But not to get hung up on that, Joe had a little something to say, too, uh, about Drake uh, sliding in his DMs. After his criticism, anybody who's not up to speed on that, let's put him up to speed. Here we go. So then he jumps in my DMs. You lying? Really? I ain't lying. I need some water. Yeah. Jump right in my DM on a sunny Houston day. <laughs> he ain't want no static. At this point, I'm off my girl's bed. <laughs> I am pacing around. I'm in the back smoking. <laughs> this kid's right. Hey, Joe, Joe, where's Joe? Hey, baby, not right now. It's war going on outside. No <laughs> man is safe, safe from. No man is safe from. I'm not exempt. Right? Mm. You can run, but you can't hide forever. He DMs me with a 55 second voice note. If somebody sent you a 55 second voice, they're note, upset. They're feeling like he he struck a nerve with that. <laughs> That's what, what I'm saying. saying. But let's go, let's, let's go. I can't tell you what it said. Oh, because I didn't listen to it. Oh shit. <laughs> Why not? You got to speak to me with love. Would, do you want to play it? No, no, never. I ain't mean. Uh -huh. If I was one of these clout chasing ass niggas, that is exactly what I come in here to do. But I'm too thorough at my core and my soul. So you haven't listened to it either? No. Mm -mm. Huh. Protecting energy is a thing. I overstand that. You niggas don't talk to me when I come in here and give it up and big y'all up. Y'all don't talk to me when I say favorable things any other time. Don't fucking talk to me now. And with the way you niggas 
appear to feel about hip hop media. <laughs> Who the fuck are y'all that y'all think y'all are, are should still be granted the luxury of our dishonesty? <laughs> We don't kick- I thought he raised a really good point there. He said, he's- you don't call me when I'm complimenting you. Yeah, when I'm saying nice stuff all the time, the minute I say something that you don't like, now I get 55-second voice notes. You, you see know, why I you- say we need this? We need <laughs> people to be saying something to these artists because they just feel like, you know, everybody's supposed to be, ah, oh, yes, yes, just, you know, no, man. You out here, we deserve to, you know, ruffle your feathers. Let's see how you handle this. I like to see how you handle sticky situations, me personally, you know. How'd you feel when Drake called uh, Joe a failed rapper? I feel like he was being emotional, you know. Yeah. Joe Button is, I can't say that's a fail, he's a failed rapper. I mean, to you, if if what we call Drake is a success, yeah, he failed if, if, yeah. if, if we're comparing to you, but... Joe Button's doing his thing. He yeah. reinvented the podcast game. He's going down as one of the top guys in this industry, as far as like, you know what I mean? He's he's yeah, media he's personality. Up there. Yeah, media personality. Yeah. He's that. I don't, think, so, I don't think he failed. He got a hit. You know, you could call him right. a one hit wonder, but it's a lot of no hit wonders out he there. He jumped out he there and did his thing. Base. But he yeah. jumped into something else and he's still, he's raw at that. So, I give a lot of respect to Joe Budden, bro, because he he changed the game, just like Drake changed the game and what he's doing. You know, it's just he yeah. was an artist before. So, yeah, yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Well, <laughs> anybody listening, if you made it this far, you might as well subscribe. You know, matter of <laughs> fact, if you ain't subscribed at this point, you might as well leave a comment and let us know why you ain't subscribed. Let us know what we got to <laughs> do to earn a subscription. So if you like what you yeah, hear, no, like and share. Sure. You know, join yep. the tribe by hitting subscribe. And until the next time, y'all stay shrewd out there, man.